Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem we're asked, is there a number that is exactly one more than its cube? So what would that actually look like? Well, if we have some number x, we're saying that x is equal to one more than its cube. So it's equal to itself cubed plus one. Now, if we had, you know, a quadratic or a linear equation, it'd be pretty easy to solve this, but we have a cubic equation here. So if we say that uh, we want to subtract x on both sides to get everything on one side, we have zero is equal to x cubed minus x plus one. This isn't really a, an equation that's easy to solve. Luckily, we don't have to solve the equation. We just have to say, is there a number that will satisfy this equation? And to do this, we're gonna use the intermediate value theorem, which states that if we have a function that is continuous, and this is a polynomial, so we know it's continuous. If we have a function that is continuous, and at one point, it has a positive value, and at another point it has a negative value, then at some point it has to cross the x-axis and therefore have a value of zero at some point in between these two, right? This is only true for continuous functions, but again, that applies here. So we're basically having, you know, f of x is equal to x cubed minus x plus one. We wanna find solutions to this equation, but we can't actually compute them directly so we're just gonna prove that there are some. And so if we take values of x, right, and it's usually good to take values of x that are close to uh, zero, and we just have to plug them in for f of x. So just plugging in the values of x wherever we see an x in the equation. So this becomes negative two cubed minus negative two plus one. Negative one cubed minus negative one plus one. Zero cubed minus zero plus one. 1 cubed minus 1 plus 1, and 2 cubed minus 2 plus 1. What do these all equal? Negative 2 cubed is negative 8, minus negative 2 is plus 2 is negative 6, plus 1 is negative 5. Negative 1 cubed is negative 1, plus 1 is 0, plus another 1 is 1, 0 cubed minus 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 cubed minus 1 is 0, plus another 1 is 1, and 2 cubed minus 2 plus 1 is 8, minus 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. And so we can see that f of negative 2 is equal to negative 5. This is less than 0. And f of 1, or sorry, f of negative 1, also f of 1, but let's do f of negative 1, is equal to 1, which is greater than 0. So we know since this is a continuous function, by the intermediate value theorem, there is a value of x such that f of x equals zero. f of x equals zero at some point. And again, we know it's between negative two and negative one, but it doesn't matter where. Again, we're not trying to find it. We just need to prove that it exists. And therefore, the answer to this question, I'm not gonna write it all out again, but is there a number that is exactly one more than its cube? Well, we proved that the function that this problem creates does have a value at which it is equal to zero. Therefore, our answer is yes.